I was explaining about the Hindu think tank. Life positive, liberating, enlightening. Understand the principle of liberation is making you experience higher and higher realities. Nothing wrong having ignorance when you are born, but something is seriously wrong having ignorance when you are dead, when you are about to die. Listen, nothing is wrong if you are born with ignorance. Something is seriously wrong if you are dead with ignorance. Life in Hinduism is liberating, means raising you to the next, next levels of consciousness. I tell you, whenever you are hit with the strong sufferings of life, Whenever you are terrorized, having literally mental breakdown, collapsing, settle down with Parama Shiva, you will just wake up to the next, next levels of reality. You will raise to the next, next levels of enlightenment. Listen. Nothing can be compared to the liberating mental setup of life. Be very clear. Fundamentally, Hinduism is liberating. Every moment it inspires you, move towards liberation. Enlightening means it raises the very quality of your existence and transforms your reality to the next level. Understand? In Hindu tradition, life, death, all these are not like a beginning and end. No, it's all just one continuity. Till you decide you are absolutely one with Paramashiva and you are ready to relax in that ultimate completion, you go on manifesting, 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 manifesting higher and higher realities is enlightening. Understands? Good or bad, dream which you never want or dreams you always want, both are dreams. When you realize that, you wake up from the dream. Giving this understanding in every level of reality, and raising you to the next is what I mean by the word liberating. It has to be deeply enlightening spiritual thought current because Hinduism is fundamentally life positive, liberating and enlightening.